HK and or uh, clone mower, how to clip and pin it, or how I do it. It's a fairly simple process, so if you have a Dremel and some black epoxy, that's pretty much all you need. Uh, so I'm going to have some close-ups, but <clears throat> you will take a, a small pin. Now this is off of PTR, so there were no holes here. The good thing is with PTR, it does have little recesses already cut in there. And it's got just a little small spot where the little mill or drill bit or whatever it is that they use to mark that with is in the center and that you can use that for your drill bit. I believe that's a quarter inch hole uh, that uh, has to be drilled in there. And so all I did is I just uh, drilled from one side and then from the other, I took the small pin, I pushed it all the way through and then I marked on the insides of the pin so I knew where I needed to cut it. Now, you can cut them a little long and then that gives you an opportunity to come in there and just fine tune it and really uh, uh, grind it down and get it uh, nice and smooth and flush. So, uh, now, one thing that I did, that I did do uh, is on the end that has the little spring in it, I lost that, however, you, unless somebody's just really really looking at it closely you're never gonna see it so watch the little small parts uh, because they can get away from you and uh, when they do in a garage it can be very difficult to find so as I roll these pictures in here uh, you're going to see again it's not perfect but it it does look like uh, that there is a third pin however you can tell that there's a gap there for us now <clears throat> The, the black epoxy that I use, I just used the two part plastic epoxy. Uh, very simple stuff, mixed up a little bit. So I put it where it was underneath um, the, uh, the head here. And so that would sit down against the plastic and, uh, and, and uh, attach itself. And then I just taped around it so I didn't have a bunch of it that splashed around everywhere else. And the same thing on the other side, okay? But what happens is, is on the head of it, since it's hollow, when you push down on that, the black epoxy comes out of the hole. So all I did was I took a drill bit after it um, dried, and I just drilled that out just a little bit. It's a slightly different color, so it's, uh, uh, I just took a black magic marker, <laughs> and uh, it's just as black as everything else. So again, it's not perfect, but it's not HK. I'm not really worried about uh, something not looking uh, absolutely perfect. Anyway, hope that helps you guys. Uh, give it a shot. Those pins are six or seven bucks. The epoxy is six or seven bucks. You ought to easily be able to do it for less than $20. Have a good day.